Hi, I'm James and I'm the newest addition to the Fairer team. And to introduce myself, we thought it'd be a good idea to talk you through why I chose the Meredith as my watch to wear for the company. Now, of course, the most important reason I went with the Meredith is that I think it looks absolutely gorgeous. If there's one thing that I've always thought of as a hallmark of Farah, it's its ability to take really classic designs and to modernise them with unique finishes and colours. The Meredith is the perfect example of this in my opinion. At its roots, it's a classic bicompax chronograph, but there are some really nice elements on here that make it very striking to look at. The best of which are those hands and numerals, which are highly polished and given a blue PVD coating. I've tried to capture in my footage for this video just how dynamic their colouring is, because they can go from looking almost black to a really vibrant octane blue depending on how the light hits them, and it really is quite something to see in the flesh. Complementing those blued hands and markers, you've got a copper dial that has this really nice brushed circular finish, which gives just a very subtle bit of texture. And I'm sure that the keen-eyed amongst you will already have noticed that the date wheel is actually custom matched to the dial, because, you know, watch design is all about the details. Speaking of details, the dial print is all blue to match the hands and numerals, with the exception of some subtle red highlights on the tachometer scale. Naturally, the hands are filled with super luminova, and there are also loom plots at each hour mark along the minute track. Now, before I move on to talking about other aspects of the watch, I know that I've mentioned a couple of times that the Meredith is a chronograph, and I know that if you're a watch enthusiast, you'll immediately know what that is. But if you're new to watches and you don't know what it is, a chronograph is basically a stopwatch. On the Meredith, the central seconds hand tracks the elapsed seconds, and the left hand subdial records the elapsed minutes. And the right hand subdial is the running seconds hand that you just use for telling the time. It's really simple to use the chronograph, just press the top pusher to start and stop the stopwatch, and use the bottom pusher to reset it. Moving on to the rest of the watch, the second thing I really like about the Meredith is its sizing. Personally, I find a lot of automatic chronographs are just too thick for me. However, the Meredith has some really nice proportions. The case is 39mm in diameter, with a 45mm lug to lug. The total thickness is 13.2mm, which is pretty thin for an automatic chronograph. With dimensions like these, it's no surprise that the Meredith wears very nicely on my 6.25 inch wrist, and I think it's something of a sweet spot for me. The case also has a variety of finishes that make it almost as interesting as the dial. The bezel has a radial brushed finish that produces a sunburst effect, whilst the case sides are polished with a blasted inset. This breaks up the watch's silhouette and makes it seem a bit thinner than it really is. The domed crystal is of course sapphire, as is the exhibition case back, and the crystal has multiple layers of AR coating on its underside. As to the water resistance, the watch has a depth rating of 100 meters, so you don't have to worry about getting it wet. Now, as with all our watches, there are a variety of strap options for the Meredith. This particular strap is the Marine St. Venere leather, and it has a steel buckle engraved with the Farah logo, as well as quick-release spring bars so that it's easy for you to swap it out for something else. I know that there are a lot of people who are concerned about whether or not a leather strap will actually fit them, which is why our straps have 10 pinholes, so as to allow for a wide range of sizes. For reference, I've got pretty small wrists, and I only wear this on the fourth tightest hole, so there's plenty of room for most wrists. The final thing I want to talk about is the movement. The Meredith uses a top-grade de Bois de Praz DD2022 automatic calibre that's got 59 joules, a 4Hz beat rate, and a 43-hour power reserve. The DD2022 is a modular movement, which is to say that de Bois de Praz modifies a base movement with their own chronograph module. In this case, the base calibre is a Solita SW300-1. If you haven't heard of Dubois de Praz before, that's because they specialise in producing movement complications for other brands, and so they don't really get much recognition within the industry. But the company has existed since 1901, and since then it's supplied brands such as Patek Philippe, Hoyer, and Breitling. Now, though the calibre has some impressive specs, probably the coolest thing about it is that it uses an offset rod system. This is a neat little mechanism that Dubois de Praz developed to ensure that the crown and pushers are perfectly aligned, because if you didn't already know, that's not usually the case with chronographs. 
But not only does it look better if the crown and pushes are in line with each other, it also makes the crown easier to use whilst wearing the watch. The Meredith retails for £2,195 in the UK, or €2,395 in Europe, and $2,395 in the US and the rest of the world. There are also two other chronographs in the collection, the Jackson and the Swan, each with their own unique dials, so please do check those out on the website if you like the look of them, and we'll leave a link to the Chrono Classic collection down in the description below. And with that, we've reached the end of this in-depth look at the Meredith Chrono Classic. I hope you enjoyed the video, and we plan to do many more like this covering our other watches. Please let us know your thoughts and questions in the comments below, and we'll see you next time.